Well, hello. Welcome to Psalm 119 Devotions. We are working on the alphabet letter Lamed today. And uh, the the sensing of this one is very different from the last one. The last one was very much of a call for someone that was super struggling. And this one is very different. So I, I love that each section is quite different. So let's read through this one. And we'll read through it looking first for the words that mean the word of God. And then we will go through and look for the confessions and the prayers and looking up any other words that would give us more insight on this section. So I have all my pens ready um, to jump in. So let's start reading. I want to go a little bit closer so you can see this a little bit better. Your word, Lord, is eternal. So there it is right there already. Your word, Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in the heavens. I love that. And firm means to be established. So it's established in the heavens. Uh, your faithfulness continues through all generations. You establish the earth and it endures. Your laws endure to this day for all things serve you. So it's the word laws there. And again, what a profound statement that all things serve God. Uh, and I think when I looked up that word, it was the word servant or slave. So everything is a slave to God. Um, I thought that was just a, a neat concept. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. So there's the word law. And this is one of those verses um, that I love. And so this is one that I would put a banner around. Um, if your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I think about all the difficult times that I've been through in life and what my life would have been like if I had not been able to rely on the word of God. So that verse is super important to me. Um, so I banner it so that I can always go back and meditate on that one. I will never forget your precepts. So there it is there. For by them you have preserved my life. Save me, for I am yours. I have sought out your, there's the word precepts again, and we'll look it up to see if those are actually the same Hebrew word or a different word. The wicked are waiting to destroy me, but I will ponder your statutes. Again, see, we see that concept of the wicked coming against him, but he's going to stay strong in the word of God. To all perfection, I see a limit, but your commands are boundless. Ugh, I love that line too. I love that verse. And so that's actually another verse that I'm going to put a banner around. Um, to all perfection. I see a limit, but your commands are boundless. Ah, oh, that's just such a great verse about the Word of God. Um, that everything about the Word of God is limitless, boundless compared to anything else in life. So let's go back now. And what we're going to do is we're going to just dig a little bit deeper. Um, and let's look for um, commands, not commands, I'm sorry, confessions and prayers. So your word, Lord, is eternal. That would be a confession. It stands firm in the heavens. So um, I'm just going to right now just highlight eternal and stands firm. Your faithfulness continues through all generations. That is a confession. You established the earth. That is a confession. Uh, the earth endures because God established it. That's a confession. Your laws endure to this day. That is a confession. So we have lots of confessions this time. Um, if your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I think that's more just like a statement of fact. I will never forget your precepts. We've seen that a lot in our Psalm 119 devotions. And that for sure is is a confession that I will not forget your word for by them you have preserved my life save me for I am yours well there is a prayer save me for I am yours I have sought out your precepts that's uh um something that happened in the past confession but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that and then when I say it confess it I'm going to say it as a um present tense I seek out your precepts 
The wicked are waiting to destroy me, but I will ponder your statutes. There it is again, another confession. I'm going to ponder, think about your statutes. And then to all perfection, I see a limit, but your commands are boundless. I think that would be a great confession. Um, so I'm going to highlight all of that too. So a lot of confessions and really only one prayer in this one. So very different. I'm going to open this up so you can see. Very different from our last one. Um, a little bit more prayers in the last one because of um, the situation that was being portrayed in that one. So a lot of beautiful confessions in this one. Um, so now let's just go through and write down the Hebrew word for the word, but then also let's just look a little bit deeper in some of these um, statements, because I think some of these statements are just really good. So I'm going to flip my book back again so that you can see this closer up, and I think I'm just going to clip it so it stays open um, while we're looking through this. I think that'll be easier. So let's go closer again. Your word, Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in the heavens. So let's, this word here for word is debar, and this is that spoken word, right? The things that God has spoken are eternal. They stand firm um, in the heavens. I love that concept, just that his word is forever. What God says is forever. Um, then the next one, your faithfulness continues through all generations. Now, this word faithfulness here is one that we have seen before. It's the word emunah. And we've seen that um, before. So I'm just going to write emunah. And then I'm going to show you, uh, if you go back just one page back, we already wrote that down, faithfulness. Emuna means fidelity, truth, firmness, steadfastness. So when we go back here, we can look at this and say, your steadfastness continues, your, your faithfulness continues, your loyalty, your fidelity continues um, forever through all generations. Um, and I love that because we're looking at your word stands forever and your faithfulness stands forever. You establish the earth. That means that God fashioned it or prepared it or, um, yeah, established it. And really, he established it by his spoken word. You establish the earth and it endures. So there it is again. It remains fixed. It's there forever. Uh, that's the way God created the earth, right? Your laws endure to this day. So everything that God has spoken into being, has put into being, stays forever is, is what I'm getting when I read that. And this word laws is mishpat. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. And this is the word Torah. And I think I'm going to write it right in my banner. I will never forget your precepts. This is Picud, P-I-Q-Q-U-D, Picud. Um, I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have preserved my life. Now, I, we did that same phrase here right? In your unfailing love, this was a prayer, preserve my life. And here we see it again. This time he's saying, uh, because of your word, my life has been preserved. Uh, so you're going to see that little phrase often um, in these, in these, um, in Psalm 119. And this preserved my life. I'm just going to put it over here so you can see it. It is uh, Strong's number 2421. And it is the word Chaya. Um, and I always, when I see that word, I always think of uh, um, uh, Fiddler on the Roof, to life, to life, Lachayim. And this is Chaya. So it, it means life. Um, so when, when we're reading this, it's like, you have given me life is what he's saying. You have revived my life. You have preserved my life. Uh, so that's what that means there. And it's because of the word. 
So I just think that's a great concept, especially when we're going through difficult times. And then he prays, save me. I am yours. I have sought out your precepts. And this word precepts here is also pakud. So it, they did, when they made it into an English word, they did use the same precepts. Um, so I have sought out your precepts. I'm going to keep seeking out your precepts, right? Um, and then it says the wicked are waiting to destroy me, but I will ponder your statutes. Like even though the wicked are trying to come against me, I am going to stay strong in what your word says. And this is the word Ida. So I just love that the, the concept again of just turning to the word whenever difficulty comes. We see it in this one. You've preserved my life through the difficulties. I would have perished in my affliction if it wouldn't have been for your word. I need you to save me because the wicked are waiting to destroy me. But I'm going to stay strong in your word. Um, and it really just shows us that that's what we cling to. Um, to all perfection, I see limits, but your commands are boundless, and this commands is mitzvah. Limitless is what God's word is, boundless. Um, I, I love that. So now what we're going to do is we are going to just uh, confess, um, say out loud the um, the confessions. And so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this back again so that we can go through this. And I'm going to read them out loud, and I would like it if you'd read them with me. Confess the Word of God aloud, and then we will pray. So, Lord, again, we come before you, and we just want to confess what, what we believe, what we stand for in your Word. Lord, your Word is eternal. Your word stands firm, is established firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness, God, will continue through all generations. You established the earth, Lord, and the Lord, because of that, we know the earth endures. Your laws endure to this day, Lord. Uh, I will never forget your precepts, Lord. I will seek out your precepts. I will ponder your statutes. God, and to all perfection, I see a limit, but your commands are boundless. So, Lord, we thank you for that. We thank you that your word is boundless. And, Lord, again, we look at that one prayer that just says, save me for I am yours. Lord, I know there are times in life where we struggle and there are times in life where things are difficult and just that statement save me lord for i am yours is a wonderful statement to proclaim to you and so lord we come before you and we just say that lord save me for i am yours we thank you lord for your word we thank you for what you are doing in our lives because of your word amen so i encourage you just to seek this farther to meditate on it to ponder it um, we see that word again ponder um, i will ponder your statutes and that is actually the word bin and i should have written that in there but that's the word bin and we have looked at that word before and that's that word that means to understand and to discern and to act wisely and that is what i want to do with your word and i encourage you to do that today see you next time